G'day guys, this is Matt here, and today we're going to show you and speak to you about Microsoft OneDrive. What's OneDrive? OneDrive is a cloud storage, and what this can do, this can actually back up your desktop documents and pictures automatically while you're using it. So for example, you have uh, working on a Word document in My Documents and you make a mistake, or somehow you delete the file, you can go back into OneDrive and retrieve that file and do it, change it like that. And also OneDrive is where you can share documents from um, to, to and from one another. But also when you've got the education account, when you're slogging with your school account, whether you're a staff member or a student, you have access to about a terabyte of space of data for your OneDrive space for your documents, pictures, and your desktop. So now I'm gonna go and show you how to do it. To look at this now, we've got OneDrive down the bottom. We can double click on that, or we can search for OneDrive in our windows, and we can open it up here. And as you can see, I've got it open here. So what you need to do is sign in with your school address, which I'm doing right now. And we click sign in. So you'll sign in with your user, your student name at your school and your school's domain. And then what we're gonna do now is actually add in our password. Okay, so now it's signed in and it's asking me for my OneDrive folder and it's gonna be on the C drive. And this is what this will do. This will put a folder on your C drive so you can actually access it like a Windows Explorer folder and go next. It's saying it's already exists because I've done this before. I'm just gonna go use this folder. It says get to know OneDrive and it's just the wizard now. It tells you you can share files and folders like I mentioned. And here's the uh, what it looks like with your little icons. So the cloud is, it's in the cloud, it's there, but when you double click on it, it'll save on the device give you a tick, but also you can make it available offline as well. So they're the options you can get. And you go next. There's a mobile app, which I recommend you guys get if you want to, so you can have your d files on the go. And But we have gotta go later. What I'm gonna do now is open my OneDrive folder. And as you can see, here's my OneDrive folder. And down the bottom, it's telling me it's syncing to my folders here. It's working really, really well. And you can, as you can see, the folders are there for on demand. So if I was to open a file, I would double click on a file and it would change to a green tick, as you can see there. Okay guys, like I said before, uh, once we've, uh, OneDrive's up to date, click on the help settings and go settings. And this is where we can back up our desktop pictures and documents. Go manage backup. As you can see here, it's saying space left. I can enable those and go start backup. So once you do this on your desktop, you can actually have it ready to go and it will all happen for you. So that's fantastic and that's ready to go and we close that. As you can see, there's a tick there. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you something. So we're gonna open up our C drive and we're gonna to go to our desktop. And as you can see, there's a folder, it's actually just syncing there. But if I right click, new text document, call this test, instantly it's backed up for me straight away, okay? And that's, and there it is that's backed up so we know in the cloud so when I log on to this now in the cloud it'll be there so what I can do now is I can log into the cloud so we're going to go to portal.office.com going to sign in So once I've signed in to my Office product, as you can see here, if I go down to my OneDrive, like I said before, we've ticked that box, so it's gonna be backing up our folders. There's an option there called Desktop. We click on that, and what you can see here is the folder in the test document. Now let's try it again live. So I'm gonna go right click, New, Folder, call this Work, Enter, and once that starts to get syncing, it'll sync in there as well. And there you go, so work is there right there. So we let's open work, and let's open work here. And let's add another document, just another text document, called that one there. And once that syncs, it'll go green, and then it'll appear in our work document here. We'll go back to work, it does a reset, and there you go. So this is a fantastic way for your staff and students to work on backing up their work, okay? 
Um, if you're an IT administrator, you can do this from the group policy. So when they log into their laptop on the domain and grab that policy, it'll actually do it automatically for them. Just a super quick one. Say for example, you've typed a text document and we've made a change. We can actually open that text document up, make a change, open in text editor. I'm going to do that now. When it gets there in a second, it's opening, opening, opening. And start doing that one there and we save that one. And we can go back to our OneDrive here, go back. As you can see here, what we can do now is, there's actually version history. So now this is how we can actually go back and look at what version history our files are. So just now, so you can actually open the file and that's what we've happened just now. So if I did that multiple times, the version history would appear. So that's just under here, three dots and version history. That's a huge way of uh, looking at if you've made a mistake on a document or you've changed something, you can go back. Okay, fantastic guys. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope this OneDrive video has helped you out. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.